Here is the answer for your question. Just because of the very fact that no luthier plays, and especially plays at that level of what you heard just at the beginning of this video, if they don't play like that and that much, how they will know if it is playable a guitar? It's just a total nonsense. And therefore, it took 15 years of me giving feedback. I was appointed, and this is a very great honor, appointed by my own preceptor to AG for giving them feedback about playability and this is a work and control quality obviously that if you don't have that this means a huge investment from guitar makers because they have to invest time and, and, and not be compromising about trying to save three dollars on, on materials etc to get more profit right and this of course we know that this in Spain most of the time and probably anywhere else as well is not happening except with these people that does not care about the business but about the art really just like what is the spirit in which this was founded to get the best stuff from last century style guitars like Marcelo Barbero and Santos Hernandez and make it a modern instrument like this year uh, 2014 age it redefined totally by changing everything from the materials, the quality of the instrument, and everything is dissimilar to any other guitar, same of the same that you can ever try in your life. And if you have hold one in your hands, then you will know why I'm saying what I'm saying. In fact, the fact is that Luthers have no feedback. What's their, what's their feedback? Their feedback is they make one thing in one way, like suppose I am a cloth designer, or, or yeah, I make a suit for you, and then you have to fit in there because I, I said it's very good and other well-known people say it's, it's right, that measurement. So, I don't care about you and I give you that and you have to fit there. And don't complain, please. And pay. <laughs> How can it? It seems a joke, right? So, it's not possible. Therefore, well, through that magnificent thing that my teacher did to recommend me based on the knowledge I have in guitar and my experience and because I, I know what he wants also, and I, I follow him for 30 years. Knowing all that, the loyalty which is linking all us, he recommended me for giving this feedback. And this feedback 
It's not just say, oh, change this or that. No, that means 15 years of improving their product up to the point that, that it becomes an unbeatable thing. It's a matchless instrument. Nothing can be compared with this guitar, really speaking. Because this is like Rolls Royce. And Rolls Royce cannot compete with, with uh, uh, Volkswagen or with Datsun or with other brands. Like, well, Rolls Royce can compete only with things or cars that are into that category of Rolls Royce. Right? So this is the Rolls Royce of guitars, or the Ferrari of guitars, as you want to say. It. And why? This is because the guys that, that can be in Formula One, they will give feedback to Ferrari and to others and say, this is not, not good, this engine is not good to Enzo Ferrari or to anyone. You just watch this Nicky Lauda movie and you will see that, that he was all the time saying, telling to Ferrari and to other guys what to do in the cars. Not that the Ferrari is telling the driver what to do. They tell the, the maker what to do and this is the same thing here. So, of, of course, what I'm telling just now, it may not be very convenient to, to keep their business. But I don't care because I have no no problem with it, I'm a teacher and I should not compromise the truth and this is about honesty, what I'm saying, and it's about talking to people, not telling just them half story, but treating them, and as I'm treating you, as deserving to know the facts, the whole facts, and the fact is this, um, generally guitar makers don't want to invest anything, and actually if the investment of what they produce can be going down and they get more profit, then they are, they are happy. That's not the way AG works. Because actually, you don't have money to pay a guitar like this with these characteristics of playability. I myself, I will, I will pay anything. I don't care. And I'm not a rich person. I'm just a middle class person. But I understand what's there for to get a guitar is, because I also do have to save to get one, etc. But when the quality of a guitar is not there, the only thing left to talk about is price. And when when the quality is there then price doesn't matter. That's what it means, this thing. So it's a priceless object, and because it means how I will sound, and it's a transparent medium between the public and me, I need this to be a crystal clear, perfect thing that reflects how I can play and can actually make me play better, right? So that's why at the beginning I post this thing, you watch how I play there, and unless the Luther can play like that, how can he tell you if it is? good or not. And of course this doesn't mean flamenco. Don't confuse this thing. This, this is not traditional flamenco what we are talking about here. We are talking about specifically Paco Lucia's techniques, which requires very specific things. And I learned most of this stuff from him personally. And of course, through this, giving them feedback day by day over 15 years now, in fact in this channel, with 1,500 videos today, you can see at least 300 of their guitars that I play. So quality control has to be there, and quality control cannot be done by the same Luther. The same Luther cannot tell if it is good or not. <laughs> That's ridiculous, right? It's like, it's like any government saying, we are great. That's the same thing. So therefore, uh, it's important, and as far as they, they never have any feedback, what's their feedback? That they produce one guitar and then they give it to some one guy that play mildly okay, and then he said, yeah, I like it. Is that their feedback? No, that's not feedback. Feedback means to go inside and say, no, this is wrong. You have to change this, this, don't do it. Change the measurements here, change this, improve that. And they have a big ego, these Luther people have very big ego. And then therefore, that's their, that, that, that's their fall down. That's why they are falling apart. Because if you are with ego here in front and not to produce something benefit for others, right? and you care only for money, then you cannot cannot be really acknowledged as a person of value, right? Just like me now, I am answering you, nobody's paying me to tell you this thing, right? So, I don't care for payment. My payment is that you appreciate music, you want to be playing, and you are inspired to ask these questions for the magazine. And that's how I am answering you, not because someone is paying me. I'm not looking here, I invest so much and I get so much of profit, no. And so AG, same, it's the same same kind of mechanism. That's why it's, a, it's an exclusive guitar, and that's why it's different. Everything what they do, from the materials to what is the concept, everything is totally different to any other same of the same guitar. Right? And this, this is how it is. And please watch the description, other video which I make, that the title is, if you don't agree with me, this video is for you. And if you don't, 
then just skip it because it's not for you, right? And there I, I established how, along with, with their comment, people should also post a video of them playing, saying, this is how I play, and that my opinion is this on the subject. Because talk, cheap talk is very easy, right? To talk or just say an opinion is very, is very cheap. But to prove facts, to prove facts and to give value, that's not cheap, that's not easy, right? You have to pr prove it, uh, your opinion is valid, or will be considered at, at least by cultured men according to what's your qualification on the field, right? But if you have no qualification on the field, how can you talk, right? So most of these people and some so-called famous luthiers, they don't even have an iota about guitar construction, really speaking. This term guitarero means that, that they don't know how to make a violin. People making these guitars are experts also making violins, uh, cello and everything, did whole career, right? And then therefore, it's a, it's a real luthier, right? This is a team of people, of three luthiers, not one only, and the concept is totally different. And again, here the names the stuff means zero. That is, that is the last century style business uh, idea, that Pedro Jimenez is the maker of this, and, and Juan Perez is the maker of that, and that. That's, that's just the last century thing, that's very outdated, and of course we live now in the present in 2014, and not in the, we're not even in the 90s, so things have changed a lot, right? And then of course Guitar Fortunately changed to an instrument which is totally playable, and I can prove it because of what I play with it and how I sound, and believe me that if there will be something better, I will have it for sure, <laughs> because I am also a guitar freak, I love guitar, just like you. And my intention with this thing is to help you understand one very simple thing. If the luthier does not play at that level there, and this is the Paco thing, this is not flamenco. Flamenco, people will say, yeah, well, what, such and such plays that, such and such plays at that, that we don't care, because Cypress concept is obsolete. The ebony fretboard is an obsolete concept. The, the bridge made like how it was, same like in the classical guitar, is an obsolete concept. So, AG doesn't care for that, and, and nor me. And of course, Paco supported these ideas. That's why he endorsed it. So, this is what is the fact. And certainly, it was not that he didn't understand the difference between these guitars and what he played in the show just for the show, right? And I will post that at the description of this video as well because he said it himself to the newspaper interview uh, in El País. And then he said, well, the guitar I play in this show, guess what, this is the one that I don't like, that guitar, I cannot play it even at home, it's unplayable. Why? Because of these playability things. So, the moment of intimacy with the instrument, your connection with it, and of course this is also, here there are some objective parameters, like measurement with a ruler, you can pick a ruler and just measure it, there's nothing subjective about it, and playability and the action and that, and tuning capacity of this. And then there is another thing which is subjective, and, and of course if someone is happy or if someone is used to play on a crap guitar and he's used to play that and he thinks that's good and many other fellows, his friends or anything, also play crap guitars and, and they think they are okay and he wants to believe that, that's, that's, that's okay. With, I'm okay with that, I mean, no problem, right? But to, to someone who is inquiring after the truth, and this is about honesty as I said, it's about treating people as deserving to know the facts. Right? Of what's, what's the fact is a luthier does not have any, any feedback. What's their feedback? Right? And AG is AG because this feedback was all the time and in 15 years, look how they improve. In fact, the best guitars of this brand are from 2014 on. And you can see every year the improvement. So what I'm saying, I can prove it again. So that video, I will put post in the description. In case you disagree, you watch that and send me your video playing so that we can rate your opinion according to your level and your understanding of the subject. Otherwise, this is just cheap talk. We cannot talk just like opinions come out of, of, of uh, as the Uncle Sam's club. No, we are not. Do we aspire to get real knowledge from the Paco de Lucia line. And then therefore, this is, uh, this is some serious topic here. What we are talking, and I am proving everything what I said. I'm willing to answer any question you want, and well, I thank you and God and my teacher and everyone for the honor to be able to supervise this wonderful project which, which means the, the first time in which flamenco guitar was really defined itself, the new era of flamenco guitars.
Thank you.